Good evening, everybody, and welcome all of you to this live program of Orthopedic Principles. Today, our guest of honor is Dr. Cholavish Chandlalit from Bangkok, Thailand. Dr. Chandlalit is a consultant orthopedic surgeon at the Upper Limb Reconstruction and Sports Surgery Unit in Mahachakri Sirindan Medical Center, Srinakaran Virat University in Thailand. Dr. Cholavish qualified in medicine from Srinakaran Virat University in 1999 and completed training in orthopedics at the Khan Khan University in 2005. Subsequently, he pursued a fellowship in cartilage study with Professor Matt Bittwell in Sweden. In 2010, he traveled to Mayo Clinic for a research fellowship in elbow and shoulder surgery with Professor Sean O'Driscoll. Dr. Cholovich is a co-founder member for Asia Pacific Hand and Upper Limb Society and also associate editor for the Journal of Orthopedic Surgery, Hong Kong, where he reviews the upper limb section. So today, it's my great honor to introduce you to Dr. Cholovish Chanlali from Bangkok, Thailand. Over to you, Cholovish. Thank you so much, Sir Kopalan. Uh, thank you also for the uh, introduction for my for my for me too. Uh, it's my how to present the lecture of the arthroscopic modified bone storm in orthopedic principle. My name is Cholovich Chalalit. I work in Mahajaki Sinintar Medical Center, Thailand. My discussion about this lecture is none. We know for sure that acute ankle sprain is a common injury. About 10 to 20% of acute ankle sprain turn to be chronic ankle instability. The symptom like a repeat turning of the ankle, especially on uninvaded surface or when participating in sports, persistent discomfort and swelling, pain or tenderness, and the ankle feeling dwarfy or unstable. From the International Ankle Consortium in 2014, they have a mechanical instability interaction frequency of the multiple span and perceived of instability. The common examination test for the stability test such as Wallace state test, anterior double test. And also you need to concern about the subtala instability testing too. For the chronic ankle instability, conservative is a treatment of initiary Colonial strengthening and proprioceptive rehabilitation is a common protocol for use for the conservative treatment. In the case that the conservative treatment is failure, surgical is accepted as the standard treatment for the chronic ankle instability. Operative procedure for chronic ankle instability. There are many techniques and can be grouping as anatomically pair or anatomically construction, such as a bow storm or gal modification. Another group is like a non-anatomically construction and non-anatomic tenodesis, such as watson John or kisman Snook. Anatomically pair or anatomically construction like a bow storm, use the mid-substance repair of the anterior talofibral ligament and calcaneal fibrile ligament. Who modified the bone storm procedure by using the inferior extensor retinaculum for make a more stained. Non-anatomic reconstruction and non-anatomic kinodesis, which is stabilize the end of the tendon to the bone, such as like a Watson-Jones operation or the Kissman snook that make a tunnel in the fibra, talus, or the calcaneus, whatever. What is the modified bow storm? If they have the two components in there, they have an anatomic repair of the anterior talofibula and calcaneal fibula ligament, and use a good modification of uh, extensor retinaculum to reinforce and make the limited inversion of the subtalar joint to this ligament. How about the incision? Uh, the incision, they have uh, many variety in there, like a postural incision that popularized by Gru Carlson, 
and also the anterolateral incision in the lead color is like uh, more, uh, popularized by Bostom, Holy B, Murphy. And the state lateral over the fibula is like a Mahajan. And also the transverse curve lateral in the lead colored line is a Lee in that popularized by Lee. For my practice of the open modified bow storm, I starting with the arthroscopic examination. And in this picture, you can see in the dye arthroscope, we found a vulture of the ATFL. And when we open the modified bow storm, we use a lateral incision, identify the ligament ATFL and CFL, and release and divide of the scar tissue allow there and release from the fibula. And then we apply the two soldier anchor in there. And then we make a tightness, repair the ligament back to the bone and pull the part of retinacula to cover to make a strengthening of the ligament repair. This is a picture of the repair. Do like an open modified bow stop and the pain film x ray also. How about the results? Modified bow storm and goo have a show a good successful results. The, the, in 2021, in the foot ankle, ankle surgery, they report about the comparative study between lateral augmentation reconstruction system compared with the modified both storm and good posterior. They show any no different clinical outcome, different in, in both groups. So the complicated technique is, is stay on the lateral augmentation reconstruction. But whatever, the wound infection complications still be the concern. In one systematic review, there was five study report with the wound complication. Total patient was uh, 234 patients. 98 patients have an open repair versus 136 arthroscopic. It found that open repair have the wound complication late over arthroscopy about six times. How about the arthroscope? Uh, they have uh, two people that have FN on me. One is the uh, Yong Kori from South Korea and another one is uh, Shiyanin Ang Tong is from Thailand. We used to have a meeting with uh, one, one meeting in the spot for foot ankle and also the foot ankle surgeon in my institute. They show about, Yonko Lee show about his study about the biomechanics study. Uh, they show the uh, strength of the all inside arthroscopic modified bow storm on the even pair, mat pair of the human cadaveric specimen. On, on, in each pair, they use the open compared with the arthroscopic modified bow storm technique. They test the ligament in T, T and T, T. One is a torque of failure, the key to failure and the stiffness. And the results show that no any significant difference between open and all inside arthroscope modified bow storm. We know for sure that uh, feedback mechanoreceptor is a necessary for collection the instability problem. From the ana anatomical micro study, we, we know for sure that proprioceptive sense receptor stay quite densely in the ligament to bone insertion. This issue is proof on the ACL, PCL, collateral ligament of the elbow, and also the ankle too. And the minimal invasive surgery and the good result even repair to the arthroscopic technique 
even repair all inside ATFL and CFL repair also show the good, excellent result with the benefit, benefit from the minimal invasive surgery that is published in knee surgery, sport traumatology, and arthroscopy in 2020. How about the Young Coley study? They have, he have a T series of the study. In 2011, retrospective study in 28 ankle follow up in the 16 months, all patients returned to their previous activity level, good clinical outcome, and some minor complications. In 2016, they show about the randomized control tie between 25 cases open modified bull storm versus 25 arthroscopic modified bull storm. No difference in the clinical and radiographic after one year follow up. In 2017, he report the subgroup analysis study of the 99 angle were treated with arthroscopic modified bull storm. Uh, they have a 24 cases that have show evidence of the laxity and no less likely about the 25 cases. With one year for up, arthroscopic modified bow storm sh should be considered a reasonable method regardless of the general electromental laxity patient. And in the recently in the 2021, Ahmed made a report on the systematic review and meta-analysis comparative study between open versus arthroscopic bull storm study. In this systematic review, they have uh, 400 patients from the X study, family outcome, they study about the functional score and also the visual analog scale. The secondary outcome, they test about the post-operative anterior dorsal test and talatude and the surgical time and complication length. And the third one is the time to return to sport and weight bearing. They can conclude that why arthroscopic is a technical demanding, but the arthroscopic modified bow storm was superior to open bow or bow storm in the post-operative skull, visual analog scale, and time to return to weight bearing. The operative time, competitive lead, color tube, and anterior dorsal test were excellent and statistically comparable. So it showed that the uh, operative time is not different so much. But whatever, longer clinical trial are required before they recommend arthroscopic bull storm as the gold, new gold standard of the treatment. What you will see when you do arthroscope? Number one, you can examine all the structure in the arthroscope, even in the medial deltoid, cartilage lesion, anterolateral impingement from the basset ligament, and also directly explore and examination of the and ATFL. How about the safety? One concern of the arthroscopic surgery is the nerve injury. They have a two nerve at least in there. Number one in the front is a superficial polyneal nerve. And uh, number two, the second one is a sulon nerve that quite stay in the back. Uh, the area of the sulon nerve that cause the polyneal tendon is about 25 millimeter from the fibula. So how about the superficial polyneal nerve, they stay about 22 millimeter in front of the polyneal tendon. So in this square area, there it is a safe zone and not have any significant structure that can damage from the arthroscopic surgery. So for the anterior portal, it's quite safe, but accessory portal for Accessory anterior lateral portal for past the suture underneath the inferior retinaculum or ATFL is stay in the safe zone too. From the above that we discussion, so this is an example case. 23 years old male, uh, Cambodian, he studied in the US 
and had an injury in his ankle for two years ago. After he twisted his ankle injury, he was pain and discomfort on his ankle. He was conservative treatment since then. On the examination, because he sent to me because of pain and discomfort on his ankle, the examination showed the tenderness over the anterolateral ankle area. Anterior dorsal is posted when compared to the contralateral size. In the pain film, not show any significant damage or have an abnormal in size. Uh, for the MRI, the syndesmotic is intact, cartilage is no lesion. Only the ATFL shows signal, signal intensity is changing, have a bite that, and the CFL is quite intact. So the diagnosis is a chronic ankle instability, especially for the ATFL. So we dis after we discuss and we we decide that he failed conservative treatment for two years already. So we make an arthroscopic examination and do the art, decide to do the arthroscopic modified both storm in him. This is examination. We can touch and probing on the uh, ATFL. In this setting, I use the anteromedial portal and anterolateral portal along the standard anter, uh, ankle arthroscopic. Uh, position is supine position. I never use any tension apparatus for the ankle arthroscope. And after examination, uh, we can examination and tie the joint like a from the medial, like a deltoid ligament. Also check on the anterior bony impinge, and also check the cartilage lesion, and also check the anterior impingement. Like like this, like this uh, video, you can see that right now we can divide the bicep ligament. After that, we identify ways why we want to pass the suture ankle. So we clean it up and divide the foot pin. We quite concern about the area of the pass the ankle. From the past, we can we used to use a hard suture ankle, but they have a report about the complication from the ankle tip, ankle suture tip early death, the peroneal nerve. A polyneal tendon, sorry. So we change to use the soft ankle system for be like an ankle suture in there. So we clarify the medial border of the fibula and lateral border and fibula. In that area, we we prepare the foot pin with the shaver and radio frequency, and sometimes we use a QLED too. And we start to apply the soft ankle. This system I use a Y not flex. Diameter is 1.8 millimeter and have the double load in size. The suture, they have a two load. In each load, they have a two tail or two limb. In each load, we pass one limb of the suture underneath the inferior retinaculum. That we pass the lasso from that make from PDS put on the needle number 20. You can see that here, right now. And we pull each limb of the suture underneath the insular retinaculum. In this setting, we done to arthroscope. And another limb of each load. We do the subcutaneous tunnel beneath the skin and pass the tail or the limb of, of each load 
to the superficial uh to the subcutaneous tunnel. So right now, both limb of each load exists on the anterolateral, accessory anterolateral portal already. The suture right now is passed to the antero inferior ligament and inferior extensor retinaculum. It's like a vertical fashion. Next, we tie the knot. So the knot, it will push our structure to the ankle. And repeat in each load of the suture. And this is fighting inside the joint. So it looks like that all the soft tissue they push to the ankle suture. And this is the examination. It's quite stable in there. This is another case, 51 years old female, pain and severing, and can wait bailing on her ankle after one week of ankle injury. Unlucky, uh, this lady, we, I, I, she is my patient. Uh, she got a known case of a chronic ankle instability from multiple injury on her ankle from from many years ago, and she got a conservative treatment protocol. And unlucky, they she got a new injury in there. Uh, general examination: her Python score is a six. And the pain lithography shows some sub show that the ankle is incongruent and immortized. And this is an examination. Anterior lower test is show quite laxity a lot. On the MRI, they show evidence of the anterior syndesmotic tear, ATFL and CFL span. So we decided to do the arthroscopic syndesmotic repair and also arthroscopic modified bone storm to collect the, about the ankle instability also. This is the examination after we done. And this is a subtalar tilt, it's quite stable in there. This is a pen film before and after. They show that evident that the ankle is quite stable and immortized. And this is the examination before and after. Another case, 26 years old female, four weeks of high ankle injury. They document about, we document about the syndesmotic tear and also a ATFL tear. We decide to do the arthroscopic anterior syndesmotic repair and also the arthroscopic modified bone storm. Yeah, this is a result. It's quite stable. So in the conclusion, arthroscope modified both storms show the successful results with low complication. Sure, a complication is related with the portal complication and the nerve. And and possible have a longer operative time. So the long-term clinical trial are required before they recommend arthroscopic modified both storm as a new gold standard of the treatment, but they show any positive side in arthroscopic modified bone storm. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Thank you, Cholovish, uh, for that brilliant talk of yours. And congratulations for your great work that you're doing. A yes. uh, couple, couple of questions from our side. Yes. Now, do you address the calcaneo fibula ligament? Because we know that anterolateral instability or the lateral instability of ankle, it is the ATFL plus the calcaneo fibula ligament. So yes. do we address that or and how do we deal with that? Yeah, it's quite hard to document in the arthroscope because it stay quite far in the back, right? Uh, we we maybe we assume and and assume an evaluation on the pain uh, MRI and on the examination. And uh, luckily that when we do arthroscopic modified ball storm, uh, the old tissue they pull back to the fibula together. It tightening the ligament off and also in filialetinaculum that can control the subtalar motion also. So that's why after the examination, the subtalar motion is have a stable after the operation immediately. Yeah. Thank you for that. And uh, how has been your experience? Are there any recurrences uh, with your uh, in your series? Pardon? Do you have any recurrence in your series? Oh, or oh, still not. I'm still not having any recurrence in there. Okay, and how many uh, patients have you done arthroscopic bostrom? Arthroscopic bostrom, we've done like a, like a 15 cases already, yeah. Thank you, Jolovich. Not for include that. the open modified bostrom. Okay. It's similar for my sen. Right now, it's similar to my elbow arthroscope. Because elbow and ankle is kind of like a hinge, like. And right now, we use a modified bostrom to be to be used in my elbow also. Uh, different is we not use inferior retinaculum, we use the anconius. It's similar to the inferior retinaculum for the full stop. And uh, you have mentioned that you use uh, bone tunnels into the lateral malleolus, right? Oh, oh we don't. Uh, I, uh, that is the lateral augmentation reconstruction. We, uh, we didn't. I didn't done it like I was on John or Christmas, no. Okay, so in your technique, uh, the sutures are anchored into the lateral malleolus, that's all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's technically, right. we do not require any kind of bone tunnels into the lateral malleolus, is it? No, no. We just identify the footprint and then put the suture anchor in there. Right now, we turn to be like a soft anchor because uh, we quite sure that the the tip of the suture ankle is not perforated to irritate the polynomial uh, tendon. Yeah. Okay, and there are no suture anchors into the talus, am I right? P pardon? We do not put any suture anchors into the talus, right? No, no. Okay, no. so only on the uh, lateral malleolus and you imbricate the uh, talar yes. end of the ATFL to the yes. lateral malleolus, am I right? Because this one is like a chronic, right? Even the lesion stay on the mid substance, the ligament is uh, have a tie to heal by scar tissue. But right now we put the suture ankle and wrap everything pull back to the bone. So we believe that, yeah, you said that it's indication. And then we augment the indication tissue with the inferior retinacula. That is the concept. Thank you, Chalavish. I think that's all the questions that we have for this session. Thank you for the fantastic lecture. And I'm sure this is going to benefit a lot of people all over the world. Thank you, yeah. Chalavish, for joining us. Thank in. you. Thank you to talk to you.